Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saint Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're throwing down cards for the second half of May today. Pretty excited. Uh, I know I'm like a little behind the eight ball again. And let's see, what's the date? It is May 14th, so I have two days to get all of these done. Probably a good thing I got the day off. So I'll be reading cards most of the day today. Um, some of the readings might not upload until the 16th, but let's see. Anywho, Scorpio, we're throwing your cards down. I know I'm not going in order. There's a method to my madness, trust me. Um, for anyone who can guess um, how I'm dividing these up and doing them this time around, there's a free reading in it for you, though. So, This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the second half of May 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your junior and mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Scorpio. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And any Scorpio cross-watchers popping into the room, God bless you. I totally get it. You're welcome here, too. Check your moon, rising, your Venus sign readings. If you would like any additional insight or information, they might resonate a little bit better. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you so choose, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Hit the notification bell if you would like to know when I upload again. And for anyone interested in a personal reading, um, it's $15 for the first question, $10 for each additional question. Caps out at 50 bucks, which means I will not charge anyone more than $50 at this point. So, whatever tickles you fancy, hit us up. All right. One more shuffle for Scorpio, and I think we're going to have it. We got it. Scorpio, why are you here? King of Swords. Okay. Is it decision time? Logical head over heart decisions, possibly. Might be an air sign you're dealing with. particularly Gemini. Yes, I have the cheater board right here. I found it. It was lost in the abyss of the shed there for a while, but I brought it back in and I peek at it every once in a while still. Okay. Let's get this laid out. Oh, wow, Scorpio. Hmm. Well, okay. How you feel about them is presented as the King of Wands. So, they're an initiator. A little something, something, possibly. They're sexy. They're a go-getter. Possible fire sign. They take action. what you think of them, the High Priestess. 
you see them as an extremely intuitive person. They, they just know. There's definitely, they definitely have this connection to the divine in your eyes. They just know. What you want from them is the Queen of Wands reversed. So you might want them to slow down a little bit. Not necessarily grind things to a halt, but slow down. The Queen of Wands is also extremely intuitive. Just thought I'd point that out. How they feel about you is the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Not stable, not much to offer, probably blowing things out of proportion, making it sound a little bit better than it is. What they think of you is the Ace of Swords reversed. Um, not communicative. I'm going to throw a clarifier on that, but possibly not entire truths being told. What they want from you is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So... I'm hearing speed things up a little bit. Like they're growing impatient. And you're marrying each other a little bit anyway. The challenge is the judgment in the reverse. Okay. There could perhaps be something resurrecting on one side or the other. That might be a challenge within the next couple of weeks. What needs to be done is the Ten of Wands in the reverse, so there's a burden here that needs to be laid to rest that hasn't been. And the projected outcome at this point is the Five of Wands in the reverse, so an end of conflict. Okay. Well, that sounds sunshine and roses. Hey, what the hell? Why not? All right. Let's... Uh... Tarot Illuminati. I haven't clarified with you in a while. All right. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can we get a little bit of clarity? Two Cups Reverse popped out. I think it popped out for a reason. We're going to throw it right there. Someone might be making that over heart decision to disconnect here. Oh, wow. Mm. Don't know who it is, but... Alright. We're almost there. Why is the King of Wands reversed here? The King of Wands isn't reversed, Faith. Why is the King of Wands here for how Scorpio feels about the other person? Chariot in the reverse. Card of return. Card of closing gaps. Also a card of being pulled in two different directions. You might think feel like they're spreading themselves a little bit thin. Or they're being pulled in two different directions all the time. Like they have a choice to go one way or the other. Their focus isn't all on you. Okay. Why is the High Priestess here? It's 
Three of Swords. They're intuitive. They know things. One more. Seven of Wands reversed, Five of Wands reversed, Three of Swords in the upright. You think they're just trying to avoid conflict, and I mean any kind of conflict. There's an energy of avoidance. You think this, this, it's like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop all the time. I don't. Okay, why is the Queen of Wands reversed here for what you want from them, Scorpio? Thanks. Star card in the reverse. It's the slow down energy. The Queen of Wands can also be extremely accusing. She's a finger pointer. Ace of Pentacles, you want growth. You you want this to become something abundant. But finger pointing and accusing needs to stop and a healing needs to take place. Okay. Is this like a theme today? Are all the fixed signs going through this? Because this is the third one today. I'm just saying. I'm almost afraid to read Leo. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? Or how the other person feels about Scorpio? Hi! Nine of Swords and the Sun reversed. You're not stable. You don't have a lot to offer. Things are overblown. Connections there, but it's not very strong, and it kind of it, it has them a little bit consumed. Like I'm hearing and sensing that they might be a little bit intuitive, and they might be being kept it up at night. They may also feel that you're a little bit obsessive. Why is the Ace of Swords reversed here? Seven of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Swords reversed, Ace of Swords reversed. <sighs> Not speaking entire truths, impatient. I'm not seeing this Eight of Swords of Versus coming out of Cage of Your Own Thoughts. I'm seeing it as being strangled by a cage of your own thoughts. 
very obsessive energy. Okay. Okay. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed here? Wow, this is like totally 180. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Emperor. They want you to, They want you to get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Stop being so impatient. Get a hold of yourself. Death in the reverse popped up. And possibly there's a spiritual change that needs to take place that hasn't, and that's what they want. A habit change. Why is judgment reversed here? Thanks. The moon. Okay, the challenge is deception. Oh, I love it when it all comes together. One more. Mm. Queen of Cups. Reverse in judgment. Smoke and mirrors, lies and deception. One more. Overwhelming love. One more. Five of Swords, things happening behind closed doors. God, I was afraid of that. Okay. There's something going on here that isn't talked about. Scorpio. I think you may be dealing with someone who isn't exactly on the up and up. I think you're dealing with a finger pointer. And you just sometimes, occasionally, I'm not even going to say usually, I'm going to say occasionally, depending on who you're dealing with. And this is across all signs. When there's a finger pointer, they're pointing a finger at a mirror. You know what I'm saying? Or they should be pointing a finger at a mirror. And when they accuse someone of something, it's because they're the one doing it. They're looking for an out. Somebody here is looking for an out. Someone left something behind that may be trying to resurrect while they're involved with you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where the hell did this come from? Whew. 
you want the connection, but you want them to heal from whatever and stop pointing fingers where they don't need to be pointed. They want you to stop being so obsessed and slow down and be patient. You could potentially be dealing with someone who's extremely wishy-washy, too. Like, they want something one minute and then want something completely different five minutes later. Possible air sign energy, just saying. Page of Wands reversed. On top of a Ten of Wands reversed. A burden needs to be released here that hasn't been. And y'all just need to, to stop the presses for a second. One more. Nine of Wands reversed, Two of Swords reversed. Weapons down. Blindfolds off. Stop the presses. One more. You want to talk. Disconnect. Paraffin reversed. Disconnect. How can someone be an instigator and avoid confrontation at the same time? I think the only way to resolve this is to just stop. Just put the brakes on, throw, throw the truck in park, throw on the e-brake, I don't know. Just pull over, stop the caravan. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell is going on here? Because I do not like this. There's something going on up here that I do not like. There's something going on over here that I do not like. Somebody's very manipulative. I know what you're up to, but you have no clue what I'm up to. They think you're clueless, Scorpio. They think you're clueless. Wow. Okay. Why is the Five of Wands reversed here for the potential outcome?
Prince of Cups. Once the fighting is stopped and there is silence and there is peace in the village again, there's a comeback around. One more. Cheers. Eight of Pentacles. Weapons down. There's no more fighting. There's peace in the village again. The Prince of Cups comes strolling in. Eight of Pentacles. You're working on yourself. You're putting work into the things that matter. Because you're not going to be all about uncommittal Joe. Coming in and dumping his cups all over again. The sex of the card is important. It's the energy coming off of it. Wow, Scorpio. Oh my gosh. This doesn't even make sense. The only way any of this makes sense is... They're accusing you of doing something they're doing themselves. Wow. Queen of Wands reversed, Prince of Swords reversed, okay. Don't move forward with this. Limit communication. Um, possibly block this person altogether. Hmm. King of Swords reversed, the Hermit reversed. <sighs> Watch what you say and how you say it. And don't like totally isolate yourself. Tread carefully, is what I would definitely say. Tread carefully with this. If the communication isn't going to be honest, don't bother. Don't bother. Don't move forward with it. Don't deal with it. Okay, four of swords in the upper wheel of fortune reversed. Lay this to rest. A return of this? This was karmic. A return of this would not be best, I don't think. The Hierophant and the King of Cups. Okay. This was meant to teach you something. This was another one of those life lesson karmic connections. It came in for a purpose and it's leaving for a purpose. I'm sure you do have very deep emotion for this person as you should. It, it was a powerful connection. It might still be. But this was one of those purpose connections. Wow. If you are still dealing with this, just tread carefully. Know that you're loved, Scorpio. I feel you. I totally feel you. This was scattered. Wow. All right, guys. Good luck. Hang tight. I'm here if you need me. Shoot me an email. We'll talk. Uh, I gotta jet out for a little bit though, so I'll catch you next time. Love you to bed.